Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share on this new broker in Singapore. Not really very new but anyway, it's just a broker for you to buy, sell uh, shares, options or other financial instruments. So uh, what's their selling point is that they have a zero commission fee. So I'll elaborate on that later. So let's get on to it, how you can sign up for an account. So before you sign up for the account, please uh, click on the referral link down below so that you can enjoy a referral of a uh, free Tesla shares of uh, 130 worth 130 USD. Okay, so let's go. This is uh, by no means a uh, financial advice. So it's uh, just a platform for you guys to trade US and Hong Kong stock market. As of now, they have not added uh, the Singapore stock market, but usually I don't trade Singapore stock market because uh, usually when Singapore sh shares uh, go down, it goes down a lot. And when it goes up, it doesn't go up much okay still not financial advice but yeah so if you're doing a US stock market trading you can use this Webu uh, brokerage okay, I just wanted to mention that this uh, video is actually not sponsored so it's going to be uh, after I share on how to sign up for account I'm going to share my honest review on how uh, trading on Webu is like okay so you will start by in entering my referral links down below Basically click on the link and you'll be brought to this uh, Weibo sign up page. Okay, click on sign up. And then enter your phone number. Okay, then you sign up using a password. Okay, once you complete the sign up process, they will di uh, direct you to download the Weibo app. Okay, so once it's downloaded, click on open. Okay, log in. Log in. Okay, so once you log in, it will be, look like that. And basically, uh, you will need to go and uh, fund your account to get your free shares. Okay, so you need to participate in their promotion. Open account. Okay, fill in all your details. Use SingPass. So SingPass will help you populate all these details. Key in your trading frequency as well as your other financial info. Okay, so when you are at this page, they will ask you to choose cash or margin account. I think you uh, just go for margin account and then uh, select all the trading products so that you don't need to set it up later. Okay, do this customer account review. Okay, press agree to the agreement and risk disclosures. Okay, so uh, once you get to the last page, they will say your account application has been submitted. You'll be notified once the review has been completed. Okay, so need to wait. Yeah, so waiting for approval. Okay, so now uh, after a few seconds, actually uh, less than one minute, the so account was already activated. So it will show this uh, successful account application all this. Okay, so how do you start trading? You need to... Uh, Set a trading password first. Confirm your trading password. And then unset some of the uh, security questions. Okay, so once you have done setting all the security questions, you will be able to see this uh, page. So this page is where you can quick access all the different uh, menus such as assets, your orders, everything. So how you start get started trading, right? You need to deposit money first. So how you deposit money, there are a few methods. Uh, one is using the DDA deposit. Another way is using FAST. Uh, so both of these are for SGD. And then if you want to uh, do a telegraphic transfer for other currencies such as USD or Hong Kong dollars, you can use the TT one. So uh, for the sake of this uh, demonstration, I'll use the DDA deposit. So it's very simple. You need to add a bank account first. So choose your de uh, desired bank account.
So you just input uh, the billing details, this one is auto-populated and then uh, set a payment limit for this e-gyro. So let's say maximum you want to invest 10k, just put 10k. Billing end date, just leave it blank, click next and then submit. Okay, then uh, your app will send you a notification to approve this transaction. Approve. Okay, then it's done. Okay, so you can uh, straight away deposit how much you have. Lah. So, for example, you want to deposit an additional $100, you can enter $100. Okay, but uh, do take note for the free shares, right? You need to uh, deposit a minimum of $2,000 on your first deposit. Okay, so make sure it's on your first deposit. Don't try to uh, deposit $1 first and after that deposit the remaining $1,999 because uh, they will not take the second deposit to be the uh, qualifying for the free shares. So one shot, please deposit $2,000, okay? So let's say if you already made a mistake and you only deposit $1 first, then uh, you can approach the Weibo support to uh, see whether they allow you to get the free shares. Okay, so once it's done, then you should be able to go into your assets and see the account funded is how much. So basically, I already did some trades before that and then uh, I deposited $2,050. Okay. So uh, these are some of my statements that I did. Okay, so you can on sell see right. There is uh, no commission fee. Basically, what they charge is only the SEC fees and some tariffs lah. Okay, so how do you actually buy and sell a stock? Basically, click into the watch list, look for the stock you want to buy. So uh, maybe spy. Okay, then if you want, you can add to your watch list. So basically, press the plus button. I have already added. So spy, you click on spy. Then click on trade and then you can see uh, three kind of orders so either buy sell or short okay so if you buy there's a few types uh, either you buy a limit limit means currently the price is 145 you want to buy at a lower price you put a limit price then market is uh, whereby you want to buy at a current market price okay stock is a uh, order that is higher than a current price and then uh, there's also stock limit so all these different order types are, i believe is uh, sufficient for you guys to execute trades Okay, then there's also uh, sell, buy, sell. So buy and sell is uh, when you don't have a stock, you can buy. When you have a stock already, you can sell. But then uh, there's also another option called short. Usually in most uh, brokers, they only have a buy and sell. They don't have short. So basically, uh, if you just click sell, right, usually they will allow you to short the trade on other brokers. But on this uh, Weibo, they especially make it a, sh a separate option to be shorting. If you don't actually have uh, the stock, you you have to click on short in order to sell a stock okay so uh, there are some restrictions on shorting because of the way they work like uh, like i mentioned there are zero fee commission right and they have to route all these orders to market makers so uh basically there are some ets that are not so liquid or whatever right they will not allow you to short it so i think previously i was trying on like uh, arkk then it was uh, not able to short it because of, of uh, I believe they don't have enough market makers there for the ARKK ETF to, to be shorted. Okay, so yeah, you can see there's no short option for ARKK. Yeah. Okay, so let's say you want to buy a US dollar stock. You need to, um, technically you don't need to transfer the money into, I mean you don't need to convert the money into USD, but if you want to and you don't want to make use of the margin, then you can convert it into USD. Yeah, so you can go into transfers, go into currency exchange, and then uh, key in how much you want to exchange. Lah. So let's say I have already some amount in USD, I transfer to SGD, then I can key in full exchange, and then I can get my money. So this is the exchange rate, lah. they will show the exchange rate. Okay, and then we do not charge any foreign exchange fees. Exchange fees are subject to foreign exchange fluctuation. So, uh, if you compare with other brokers, uh, Weibo exchange rates are not as great. La. Yeah, but whatever works for you. Okay, so I'll exchange and then I'll try to withdraw the money. Okay, so it's uh, processing now. So, uh, I will try to withdraw the money. Okay, so basically keep on withdraw SGD at my bank account. Okay, so after a few hours, I received the withdrawal ready. 
Oh no, so you need to click to this to see the cost. Yeah, so it's been transferred to my UOB account. So the first transfer right will take quite some time, but then uh subsequent transfers will be much shorter. In fact, I receive it within a few minutes in my UOB account. So to qualify for the rewards, right, you need to open and fund the account at least $2,000 and execute at least one buy trade. Ah. So make sure it's uh, not a short trade ah, okay, to receive the fractional Tesla shares. So if you want the additional USD $30, you need to execute one uh, buy option. Ah. So basically just buy one cheap cheap option, yeah, then you will qualify for it. So like I mentioned, for this, at least $2,000, you make sure you do it on the first deposit. If not, you need to approach their support uh, to get your free uh, Tesla shares. Uh, but it's just like, um, it's up to their discretion whether they still want to give you because by right, they say it's the initial funding, which is the first funding. Please also note that there's a minimum trade value of USD $100 for stock in DF trade. So make sure you buy a... Uh, I just buy the SPY, la. very hard to go wrong with that. Buy the SPY hole for... Me. Don't, don't even need to hold, buy and sell immediately, okay? Just buy, buy, okay? Okay, so uh, as you know, just now I mentioned Weibo is uh, commission free and no platform fee. So uh, this is until further notice. So maybe next time in future they will charge commission fee as well. Okay, then it will not be so attractive anymore. Okay, then uh, they have this uh, regulatory transaction fee on sell trades and then trading activity fee. So this fee is uh, charged by SEC and uh, FINRA, la, so not charged by them. Basically, you trade with any broker, they will all charge this, okay? So whether they charge commission fee or platform fee, this one is uh, optional, so they do not they do not charge at the moment, okay? Options, same, they do not charge all this, but then uh, options got more fees that they will charge. La. So all these fees are not charged by them, it's uh, charged by different other uh, regulatory authorities okay so other things if you trade ADR they will charge uh, some charge ADR is a uh, American depository which seed uh, so basically uh, it's uh, mostly China or other companies that are listed on the US stock exchange okay so financing interest rate if you use their um, margin account they basically do not charge any interest at the moment until you use above 50k la. so you use above 50k it will be 3.5% okay if you use their SGD uh, the margin then it will be charged at 4.2% so basically uh, basically just use this for USD trades only okay so the promotional rate is a very tier updated at the moment don't charge so you can continue using for now Okay, so same for the Hong Kong market, they don't charge any commission or platform fee but then uh, for Hong Kong stock market, I don't usually trade but these are the fees that they charge uh. Sounds like quite a lot of fees and uh, these are all charged by all brokers uh, for Hong Kong stock exchange Okay, financing rate, uh, if you are using the Hong Kong dollars, uh, is above 500k, they don't, I mean below 500k, they don't charge any interest at the moment and then above 500k, then there's interest, okay? This Hong Kong currency, yeah? So as you know, Weibo charge uh, zero commissions. How do they earn money? Uh, they do this payment for order flow. So basically, what is payment for order flow? Okay, so payment or order flow is compensation a broker receives for routing trades to a particular market maker. So basically, right, uh, if you want to buy and sell, and then uh, usually there's a spread. La. So if there's a spread, right, this market maker will take the spread and give you the price that you want to buy at. So let's say uh, currently the stock is like $144. You put a buy order for the stock at $143. Then uh, basically when the stock hit $143, even on the market, right, the market maker can still choose not to give you that shares at 143 only when there are much more orders that are uh, actually lower then they give you this 143 dollars stock so basically there's a chance that even though the market hits the 143 dollars you may not get the stock that you wanted to buy at 143 dollars but if your trade went through you will definitely get it at 143 dollars without any so basically it's like uh, trading on a, a bit slightly less uh, liquid market whereby you might not actually get the stock you want if uh, the trading volume is quite thin. Uh. Yeah. Okay, so if you are worried about uh, Weibo being uh, new and then uh, not reliable, this is uh, to show you that they are actually regulated by MAS and then uh, hold a capital market license. Uh. So basically uh, actually their assets are hold se held separately from our assets. So when they really go bust, uh, we still will be able to get back our money. La. Yeah.
Okay, so now I'll be giving my unbiased review of Reboot. So uh, when I first go into the app, I think the interface is uh, quite easy to use. So other than that, um, I think trading wise, uh, there might be some limitations la, whereby, uh, like I mentioned, you can't short uh, certain uh, ETFs or like a certain stocks. So you need to take note if you are buying and selling certain stocks, whether they are available on the uh, Weibo app for shopping. Because uh, I believe for trading, right, you want to be able to buy and sell uh, easily. Also, uh, one um, shortcoming of the Weibo app is that they are once you are in a trade, right. So let's say I'm in a buy trade now. I already long something. Then I do not have the I have the option to sell to close. So if I sell to close, right, then I try to put a stop order. So a stop loss order. Then uh, that stop loss order right will prevent me from making another take profit order. So let's say I have a stop loss at a lower price and I want to do another take profit at a higher price. I cannot do it on the same uh, order. I have to cancel my stop order before I go and put a take profit order. Okay, so let me show you on IBCAR, you can actually do that. Yeah, so you see I already have a position in a VOO and then uh, this is my position. La. So basically, if I want to close a uh, position, right, I click on exit strategy and then uh, I can uh, do profit taker and stop loss together. So I can uh, do a profit taker um, price and then I can do a stop loss price at the same time. So uh, in this area, Weibo is uh, losing out to other brokers such as IBKR, but I don't know about like maybe Mumu or Tiger because I don't use Mumu or Tiger. I believe uh, IBKR in terms of this uh, trading management uh, is the best. La. However, do know that IBKR charge a commission fee for every trade you make. Okay, so their model is uh, different from uh, this Weibo model whereby they don't charge commission but they take the, uh, they use a money maker to uh, charge the order line instead. So it depends on uh, what model you are going for. So if you are really going to um, buy and sell super liquid uh, stocks, then uh, Weibo shouldn't be a problem. But if like you're going for like smaller stocks that are not so liquid, right, then maybe IBKR might be better in order to get your uh, desired price. La. Because if it doesn't hit your desired price on the Weibo app and then uh, the market is less liquid, you might not actually get the stock. La. Okay, so that's the end of my review about the Weibo brokerage. So if you guys want to use Weibo, please uh, use the referring down below to uh, register and to get your free uh, referral fee. Okay, so if not, uh, please help to like and subscribe. Thank you everyone, bye-bye.